This government's a disgrace. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. I call the honourable member for Hinkler. I've called the member for Hinkler. On a point of order. No, I want to move a procedural motion. I've already called the member for Hinkler. Yeah, I'm and I'm, I want to, and I'm rising to move that the question be put. I've already called the member no, no, for Hinkler. No, no, you're allowed to interrupt debate under standing orders to move that the question be put, which is what I'm now doing. I move that the, the question member, be put. The, the manager opposition business. I move that the question be put. The question is that the question be put. Uh, all those of that opinion say aye. Aye. The contrary, no. I think the noes have it. The ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Order the question. Is the question moved by the honourable member for Watson, and that is that the question be put, and that is on the amendment moved by the member for Mayo. The members need to take their seats. The, well, I. I ask that the doors be locked. Well, hang on. We're not going to. I mean, can I actually read the question before the house? Do you want me to proceed with the, the question or not? The member for Watson. Um, speaker, what we're drawing to your attention is that the rule that people cannot move within the chamber once the doors are locked has been defied, and ordinarily um, there would be an opportunity to take action against a member who does that. Well, I didn't. I just saw the member walking to his seat. I mean, I don't have an instant snapshot of where 150 people are sitting. Okay. No, well, I just saw the member walking to his seat. Now, member for Watson, Speaker, what, what I put, which I ask you to clarify, members could not interject. I can't hear the manager of opposition business. What I'm putting, which I'm asking for you to clarify with the member himself, mm. because. I have no doubt the member for Macmillan will provide the accurate information in response. If, when you said lock the doors, he was seated, he was not able to then move across the room. I don't know if that happened or not, but we are not allowed to leave our seats during divisions once we've taken them. So, look, I think the, I understand the point the member for Watson's making, and we can spend a lot of time on this. But if you look at the standing orders. It is after I've appointed the tellers that the member can't move, and I haven't appointed the tellers. I haven't been able to get a word in. <laughs> so, <I'll, laughs> so I'm going to go through it again. <laughs> the question is that the motion moved by the manager of opposition business uh, is that the question be put, 
and he's seeking the question be put on the, member move for the amendment moved by the member for Mayo. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair. The noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Fowler and Morton tell us for the ayes, and the honourable members for Murray and Gray tell us for the noes. And now I've said that and I've appointed them. No one can move. I hope it's clear. Order. The result of the division is ayes 71, noes 71. I am therefore required to exercise my casting vote according to the principles, which we have done a few times, and uh, one of those principles is the Speaker should vote to allow further discussion where this is possible, so my vote is with the noes. And I think what I will do, I know there was, another, there was a member on their feet seeking the call when the manager of opposition business put the procedural motion. So that was the member for Hinkler, was it? The question is the amendment be agreed to, and the member for Hinkler has the call. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, with that in mind, uh, the opposition is happy to support the suspension of standing orders that's in front of us. I thank the honourable member for Watson. The question is that this motion be agreed to. All of those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. I think the noes have it. Aye. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. Order. The question is that the motion to suspend standing orders moved by the member for Melbourne be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Lawler and Morton tell us for the ayes, and the honourable members for Gray and Murray tell us for the noes. Order. The result of the division is ayes 73, noes 72, but the motion fails for lack of an absolute majority. Members on my left. So the question is not supported by an absolute majority as required by Standing Order 47.